<laughs> What's going on guys? Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. So, uh, this one has been asked uh, by many guys. They have actually inboxed me. So, hopefully, uh, this video helps some of you guys, right? So, this is going to be over pricing. Um, many ask me, Carlos, how do you price vehicles, right? So, hopefully, this video helps you guys. It's going to start, I'm going to start it from if you're just starting up to where I am today uh, so by no means this is not the best way you can definitely do it your way um, but this plan is kind of how I set myself up uh, which is kind of what I stuck with it so uh, let's get started so if you are just starting right I'm gonna write up here starting and hopefully you guys can hear me I have my wife in the camera today so hopefully this looks amazing don't kill me you can kind of make sure she gets known if she did a great job or not so if you are just starting right today you say yourself you're gonna start detailing right now some areas are not all what I call great areas some areas you will have where you know people don't want to pay high premiums for details right so if you're just starting you want to get your name out right just to start off with me carlos serrano's mobile details started at this was six years ago so six years ago i started at sixty dollars all right at sixty dollars okay and then we went up to this was six months later i was at eighty dollars right and then at my one year mark I raised it up to 100 and about I would say three years later I went up to 150 and now at my six year mark right I am at two hundred dollars okay so you might be thinking nobody's gonna pay the two hundred dollars right so if you're just starting how do you build um, the price up for you so let's per se this sixty dollars you're just starting right some people just like to charge sixty dollars then they get the car and the interior is horrible right so you kind of bit yourself on that one so how do you build value on your work so We'll get started with this $60 one, right? So this one here, customer tells you wants a detail, $60, right? Now let's say you ask, always ask questions. The questions I ask always are, what year is it? When's the last time the vehicle has been detailed? Do you have pet? Do you have leather? Those are the questions I'm always asking to know what I'm gonna charge this customer, as well as pictures, right? So just to start off with, let's just say this X customer, um, hasn't detailed their vehicle in two years, has pet hair, right? So this $60 just went to $80, right? Because it has pet hair and uh, it hasn't been detailed in two years, right? So you went from 60 to 80 just in that information you got, okay? And don't be scared to have the, you know, to tell the customer it's gonna be extra because of all these issues it has, right? So six months later, same customer, you know, it's a, uh, you, it has pet hair, and then it has, hasn't been detailed in two years. Now this 80 went to about, about a hundred dollars right here. So I usually increment in 20, maybe 40, depending, right? A year from now, you know, you're doing great in your business. You kind of got your feet wet. You know what you're working with, right? Same scenario. But this one now, I would probably say we are at 140, right? And this is the way I kind of did it. Three years later, you know, same customer, you know, now this 150, this is all starting prices. So at 150, now I'm at one, I'm at 180 final price because it has pet hair. You know, it hasn't been detailed in a while and so forth. All right, now. Six years later, this is where I am today, right here, okay? All my packages start at 200, 
okay? Given the fact that, let's say the customer has pet hair, you know, it hasn't been detailed in a while, this 200 automatically became $250, okay? And that's just starting. So the way I build these packages is by asking questions, right? So many people ask, what I always ask is, what year is it, right? Do we have pets? All right, do we have leather? Okay, and then we could always ask, last time it was detailed. And those are all crucial um, questions you can ask your customer. Um, and that's what's gonna build you value on giving the final price to the customer, okay? So, this is kind of a little bit how I build, um, you know, profit, you know, as far as me, this is how I started many years ago. And a lot of people even told me, you're crazy, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna run out of business, you're gonna be shut down very quick because of my pricing, okay? When I started my business, I was on a mission to where I am today is the first couple of years, you know, I think the first, I would say I think the first three years were the toughest ones for me, obviously, because I had to work a lot because obviously my prices were low. You're going to get a lot of volume calls, okay? The cheaper that you are, the more calls you're going to get. Now, the cheaper you are, you're also going to get a lot of vehicles that are hammered okay they're dirty they don't maintain them because they're used to the norm paying 50 bucks 60 bucks for a detail okay but eventually your game plan is you know let's say six years later you are right here this price the 250 you're gonna maximize in profit you're also gonna get better customers because they're cleaner these customers know quality, okay? When customers hire you for this package right here, and not a lot of customers will pay premium. But if you are right here at this point, you are you got it made. Okay, you have it made at this point. Here you're gonna work less, right? You're gonna make more, work less. Here, these couple of years right here, you're gonna work more and kind of make less if that makes sense because you're going to be putting a lot of work into it okay but don't lose patience just keep grinding it out so hopefully this kind of helped you out in my interior packages i don't include um the headliner a lot of people do the headliners as for me that is separate um so headliners for me here in, in Dallas, obviously. Headliner extra, I'm around $80 extra for the headliner, okay? Um, engine bay, engine bay, I'm around $80 for an engine bay, okay? If a customer only wants seats, seats and carpet i'm usually around 80 bucks everything is going to be around 80 dollars because i'm not going to take a long drive to make 20 bucks 30 bucks for just seats so for me my comfort zone is 80 dollars any car i touch we start at 80 usually 100 usually and that's where i want to be at because uh, i'm not going to drive a good miles for 30 bucks at that point i probably lost my whole tank of gas so in my packages, I don't include headliner. I know a lot of people like to include headliner. Um, in my packages, it's only an interior detail with a basic wash. When I say basic wash, I mean, I mean it's basic. Just rinse it off, foam it, wash it, dry it, and done. Nothing fancy on it, just very basic. So all my packages include an interior with a wash, okay? Some, some customers, it's only interiors. Um, my my pricing is based off interiors at all time usually that's what I'm they're paying me to do so um, hopefully I didn't make this review a little bit too long for you guys hopefully this kind of helped you guys out a little bit 
on how you can price. You know, if you're just starting out, work with this here. Build build a profit, okay? And then obviously six months down the road, you can increase it. And then after a year, you keep increasing it. And then three years, increase. And then six years later, you're gonna increase it even more. Um, these are what, like baby steps. You know, you take little steps to get to where you wanna be. And this is where I'm at today, and I'm very comfortable with this. You know, I'm not worried about, you know, I'm making a lot of money. I'm okay with doing two cars a day, and I'm not being overworked. As to here, I was doing about seven cars in one day to at least make $300, you know, and I would come home beat. Now, I do one car a day, which is what I would probably be making if I was right here, all right? So hopefully that kind of makes sense and kind of giving you an idea as to where you want to go. Obviously, this is just a demonstration. I'm not saying this is the best way by all means because everybody has different ideas. This is how I started. So I'm just gonna, I'm giving you a feedback from how, when I started. So hopefully um, this video helped you guys out. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me today in this video. I hope this helped some of you guys. Give it a thumbs up, you know, leave a comment on there what you think about it, good or bad. I love all feedback. So um, stay tuned also. Uh, I know many of y'all have been asking about the orange hair. Uh, very soon, very soon, uh, finally we got the quarantine lifted and we can finally kind of have that normal life again. Slowly but surely we are getting there. So don't want to take it any more, more of your time. A huge thank you to my camera lady in the back. Thank you so much for your help. Um, so you guys have a blessed day. We'll see y'all next time.